Yo, what's up guys? Blue here coming at you with another It's in the Bag video. Um, today we're going to be doing a video on the Fast Tempo Player Bag. So this is a bag that would be good for those who want to uh, continue playing the Fast Tempo, which has been a meta in the game since day one. Um, if you're having trouble with tempo or hitting the perfects, even with while using the, the perfect bag, um, then, then I would suggest maybe trying out uh, consistently going for fast tempo um, and learning how to play the fast tempo. Obviously, the ball is going to react way differently. Uh, you'll have to learn um, the distances and stuff like that that, that come with uh, hitting red fasts um, into very red fasts. They all, they all make the ball act differently. Um, so there is a lot of learning to do. Uh, it is its own specialty. It is its own method. Um, and so it does take some practice if you're not already playing it. If you are already playing it, maybe consider this bag. If you don't like some of your gaps, if you don't like um, some of the clubs, the way they feel, the way they play, whatever it is, um, I, would, I would say consider this bag. So without further ado, let's get started on the bag. Um, the driver is going to be uh, the one and only uh, Bridgestone Tour BJGR. Um, the most popular used driver in the game for sure, uh, especially amongst the competitive players. It is the driver with the longest carry at 295 yards uh, and the least amount of forgiveness. Therefore, you are more likely to hit a red fast every time you use this driver. Um, moving on from the driver, we have the three wood. The three wood, you have either one. This is preference. Um, I have the Mizuno ST200, which is a content update um battle pass or whatever you want to call it unlockable club i believe so if you do not have that uh unlocked then um you could go to the bridgestone which does have three extra yards of carry uh the bridgestone tour b jgr also if you want to keep your three wood and your driver the same i know that's how they do it i use mizuno uh, I use Mizuno clubs. Um, I have Nike irons, but I have Mizuno. I have Mizuno clubs uh, and Mizuno uh, wedges in real life. So I, I I just went with the Mizuno. Not much of a difference. Not a huge not a huge uh, stat increase or decrease either way. So it doesn't really matter. Um, so if you don't have the Mizuno, go ahead and use the Bridgestone. Uh, different from the perfect bag, you'll notice we drop the hybrid club and we go to a three iron uh, uh, for the bag. So the Difference there, obviously, the hybrid being a very, very controllable, very for forgiving uh, club. We don't want that. We don't want to accidentally hit those perfects. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to get something that has way less forgiveness um, in terms of clubs. If I just show you the difference here from going with the um, the wedges that we use, I mean, if you look at any one of them, the amount of forgiveness that you gain by using um, the the hybrids over using the uh, irons um, is is incredible. So if you're going to be trying to red fast this uh, or fast this consistently, uh, you're way better off using an iron. Uh, it gives the same distance. I think it's a one yard difference or two yard difference from the hybrid. Um, you get a little bit of more of a penalty out of the sand, but uh, the 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 uh, the iron gives you better um, percentage lies coming out of the rough. So that will um, that will balance out. So no real difference there. So I use the iron in order to balance out the, uh, the 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 forgiveness and really lower my forgiveness to make sure that I'll be hitting that fast and that I get the intended shot that I want. Uh, moving on from the iron, I go 12 yards down, and now you'll notice the gaps on a faster's bag is a little bit wider, but that's okay because there's less of an accuracy accuracy um when it comes to fasting and because you're fasting things you can close gaps differently Just try and go slightly less fast gives you slightly less carry a good amount of fast gives you slight more carry so you're able to to control your your distance a little bit but the the accuracy of the of the of the fast isn't as good as as a as a perfect um someone told me and, and this is i don't know you can fact check this with with fasters but uh, i believe someone said that the accuracy is that a perfect shot Will land within three to five yards of where you put it, um, taking out all wind factor and lie factor, and the and the fasts land eight to ten yards from where you put it. So it's okay to have a little bit more of a a little bit more of a distance uh, gap between the clubs. 
Um, you'll, you won't notice it as much, but it's very important to keep a consistent gap. Again, you don't want to leave too big of a gap anywhere where you're going to be left with having to fast and then, um, or having to hit a perfect with this club every once in a while or whatever it is. You, you want to be able to try and keep your fast swing as much as you possibly can. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So we go with the four iron is the, uh, again, I chose Mizuno. Uh, the purple Mizuno JPX 921 Tour. Uh, if you do not have the purple Mizuno, you could go with the uh, Bridgestone, which only gives a two yard more carry on the Bridgestone. So there's your option. I just wanted to lower the two yards a little bit to try and maintain my gap, um, my gapping uh, throughout my clubs. So the four iron is the Mizuno um, JPX 921 Tour. Uh, the five iron i tried to keep something again in that you're going to see it's about 12 to 15 yard range is what we're trying to do um with very little forgiveness especially in these higher uh irons so your four five six you don't want much forgiveness because those you really want to be you know slamming them in you're not you're not going into the approach shots um for the most part so um the the tailor-made p790 gave me the best um the best gapping there so at 190 yards um for the five iron then i went on to the six uh the six iron i wanted to again maintain that 12 to 15 yard gap the club that i found for that is going to be the tour b jgr the gold one again this is an unlockable um if you don't have this one unlocked i believe you have to do this in career mode if i'm not mistaken um you can go to the p790 but it's going to make the gaps a little bit more wonky um, but you could go back to the tailor-made P790. It's a little bit longer. It's going to increase the gap to your, to your six iron, um, or to your seven iron, sorry. Um, or you can go, if you have the Mizunos unlocked, you can do the Mizuno JPX 921, um, forged. I don't think there's, yeah, I don't think there's a, a, a regular version club. There, there is not. I remember have checked this so there's not there's no regular version club that'll do that for you so you either got to go mizuno jpx or you can go with the um the tailor-made p7 uh 790 and moving on from that we then go into your seven eight and nine irons seven eight nine irons become approach um clubs um so you want to you do want to have a little bit more uh of a forgiving club um, but not the most forgiving club because every once in a while when it comes to an approach depending on what kind of green You're going to be hitting into you might have to try and go for the perfect You might have to try and fade one in you might have to do something other that doesn't allow you to do your fast Necessarily wind might be against you too much. Whatever whatever the case may be whatever what may have you um, so you do want something that gives you the option to both fast and or attempt a perfect, but not always get the perfect, um, but get close enough. So I, I, uh, the seven and the eight iron, we go with the, uh, tailor-made Simmax, the gold ones, again, another unlockable club. So a lot of the clubs I found for fasting seem to be clubs that are unlocked. I wonder if HB, uh, and <laughs> I wonder if HB knew that while they were making the game. Uh, they knew the meta was going to be fasting, so they made the best clubs for fasters only unlockable through uh, through career mode play. Um, if you don't want to use the tailor made, um, there's the uh, the uh, tailor made Simmax OS. The regular one is just as good. It's just a little bit shorter, so it'll ex it'll um, it'll uh, increase your gaps between your um your nine iron but you can fix your nine iron a little bit and maybe increase the gap here you want to keep it from 12 to 15 yard gap so uh tailor made sim max the gold one or you can go to the gray one as a substitute if you don't have the the these one these two unlocked <clears throat> so that's seven and eight iron um then the nine iron you're going to uh the mizunos again jpx 921 hot metals i don't think the gray mizunos are unlockable content i'm not 100 percent sure on that um, but you can go with like either the Callaway or the or the Bridgestone or the Sim Max. These ones are pretty much interchangeable. Do any of the gray ones? Again, I like the Mizuno. I have a preference for Mizuno, um, so I go with the with the Mizuno club, um, hitting 136. And then the wedges, I don't change. I uh, I, I I still use the same Ben Hogan Equalizer um, 
equalizer wedges, the gray ones. Um, wedges are all forgiving anyway. There's nothing that's really, really super, super not forgiving. Even this, even the, the least forgiving wedge, which is a Bridgestone, has like more than half the bar full on, on forgiveness. So you're more than likely going to uh, not very fast uh, these or have to swing a little bit faster to get the uh, the red fast that you're looking for if that's what you want. But I highly encourage you try and at least swing your wedges for perfects. Um, that'll give you a lot better result when going into a green when trying to dart uh, the ball right into a pin. Um, you'll be more accurate uh, hitting hitting for the uh, for the perfect in your wedges um, in your wedge game. So um, that's the bag. That's the faster's bag. Um, I'm gonna make another video. Um, for the next bag, which is going to be, um, probably something along the lines of, uh, problems with swing plane. Uh, I'll take a look at a bag that could help those who have really good tempo control, um, but tend to wiggle their thumb around, um, and their swing plane line is, is doing the Mexican wave. Um, so again guys thank you this is the fast club video let's just do a quick overview of all the distances so driver to three wood um to three iron doesn't really matter in here uh, you'll have to control distances at the top anyway these are usually to get you into an approach shot either way um and then from four iron down you start getting into your either second shots on par fives or long par fours which usually allow you to bank off of some sort of uh some sort of um slope onto the green so you're going to run it up onto the green anyway for the long par fours or you're going into a par five uh with a with a shorter par five shot um so you don't need as much accuracy up up in here uh, and you don't need as much distance uh gap but you'll notice that from three iron to four iron you have a 12 yard gap from four iron to five iron you have a 13 yard gap from six iron five iron to six iron 12 six to seven 15 um seven to eight twelve eight to nine fifteen so there's a 12 to 15 yard gap consistently from your from your three iron all the way down to your nine iron all the way into your wedges um wedges have a 12 yard gap then the wedges themselves are uh are 10 13 and 13 so you have a very consistent even gap all the way through this to me is the perfect bag setup for anyone trying to fast the ball. Again, thank you for watching the video. Let me know if you've tried this setup and how it worked for you in the comments down below. And I look forward to making the next video for you guys. Peace out.